This is the guy who got arrested. You come out and make a statement. Let us know what you think about what's going on, sir. This is the guy who got arrested. Yeah. Hey, brother, can I interview you? I got the We Are Change live feed going on right now. Uh, we've heard uh, that when you were arrested, they forced you to get a vaccination. That's correct. That I'm is I'm a crazy you. story. Break it story right now. Tell everybody on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, they made this uh, U.S. veteran who was arrested yesterday for walking in the street take a what? What kind of shot That's was that? A TB that? shot. A tuber uh, tuberculosis shot. They had me go see a nurse. She pulls out a vial. I tell her I don't want her to stick me with anything. I'm told at that point that I will not see. Uh, uh, the a phone call that I'm promised by the Constitution. I will not be entitled to any kind of legal representation. I was told that nothing that I could do other than go be put in a jail cell until until I was arraigned. Wow. That, that's what I was told. That's crazy, if I, brother. if I don't take the inoculation or whatever you want to call it, that I do not get my rights afforded to me and I'm going to spend, my court date is now July 11, I will spend that time in jail until I take this shot. Forced shot. That's what they you told you. So, you so just just to break everybody back to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Let me let me just finish doing this interview and then you guys can do what you want. Just to break down the full story, you were walking here, you were arrested for blocking. Uh, you know, uh, what was the official charge they charged three you with? Three charges, three misdemeanor charges. One will be I impeded a vehicle. I was told to get out from in front. This is the officer's statement. I was told to move from away from the vehicle. I turned around did not comply with them, so they had to come out and grab me. Then I resisted arrest, supposedly, even though other, every other angle of the camera shows that there was no resisting whatsoever. They dropped that down to disorderly conduct, and then on top of that, I was drunk in public. As they're dragging me away, they're, oh my god, yelling, this guy's intoxicated, trying to get the crowd all hyped up like I was out. When I get to the station, we're right across from the breathalyzer machine. I not only request, I demand that I take a breathalyzer. Can you shoot them down over there? Make sure they don't point the bullhorns here. This is a very important story. So you're brought, you're brought into the jail cell, and then they make you see a nurse. Can you break down that story for us? After, after they done molesting me, and I mean grabbing onto my genitals, thumb up the anus, you name it, three different pat downs consisted after I was already arrested, patted down. Stop the bullhorns from here. Sorry. Brought in. Three different officers. They ran me through every different officer there, gave them a pull. And by, I was explained that the back of the hand would be used against my thigh and against the, the, my hind quarters. What I got was the underneath grab of my genitals, the pull down, then the thumb up of the anus. And when I cringed, I was slammed against the wall. Wow. So U.S. veteran, not only uh, sexually harassed, but also forced to take a yeah. vaccination uh, by the Fairfax police or threatened that he will have to... Uh, be in jail until his court Kill date court in July. July 11th. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's Oregon, very right unbelievable breaking Oregon, news right now. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt yeah. you. The magistrate laughed at the fact that the two gentlemen that were arrested were from Kansas and Oregon. He wow. laughed at me. And he's like, well, guess we got you. Guess we got you. And when I got mad at him for saying that, he instructed the bailiff to come in there and shut me the F up. Show this man how to shut the F up, bailiff in charge. And they brought me out, set me down. I'm going to say there was one kind officer in that Fairfax Police Department that he stands with us. No names, though. I'm sorry. you got to understand why. Yeah, of course. But Nicole specifically turned around and said, you know they're out to get you. You know they're going to grab a few of you to make a statement, to yeah. make a point. And it's exactly what's happened so far. The, the tally is 55-year-old man, U.S. veteran with no criminal history. The, the gentleman who just walked up and was bumped out into the road and was grabbed by the police officer because he was bumped out. Sorry. And then we have the female that was just drug in there. I didn't get my camera on it, but it was just drug in there and subjected to the same treatment. Four officers crowding her. So you cannot see. They make sure that the cameras cannot see. It's why they took me to the far back yesterday. My camera was still recording. The only thing they didn't vacuum seal, and you, you tell them, they, they vacuum seal everything. My camera, my wallet, everything I had in my possession, minus shoes and socks, but my camcorder. When I get out, my camcorder is script. The last video I took, white. Wow. Well, we got video of that. We got video of your arrest on the live stream and also on the HD cameras. It's already up on YouTube.com forward slash We Are Changed. So you could use that for your court hearings. Download it automatically. Check out the live streaming as well. And uh, breaking news, U.S. veteran who was protesting the Bilderbergers was uh, sexually assaulted and forced to take a vac vaccination by the Fairfax Police Department. Yeah. Immediate, breaking news here. Immediate Spread this out migraine. To everybody. Immediate yeah. migraine, immediate dry evil. Wow. Witness. Wow. Witnessed wow. by the gentleman in there. Wow. TV shot. Wow. Supposedly. Garrett Cavett.
G A R R E T T C A B E T T U S veteran. Wow. Well, I'm sorry that happened to you. Uh, you definitely have a lawsuit on your hand. Definitely recommend getting a lawyer. Uh, and anywhere people who want to help you out could find you? Yeah. Where, where, where can they find you at? Anybody find me on my Facebook or email me at g. Tell me your Kavet. Facebook again. Just tell me, uh, just email g.kavet at yahoo.com. All right, that g.kavet help this guy out if you know any legal help, legal counsel. Sorry you have to go through that, but thank you so much for sharing that story. We're going to get it out there to everybody. And feel free to use our video for legal purposes. Thank you. Thank you, no everybody. Problem. No problem. All right, brother. Best of luck with everything.